Welcome to Ambo Life. My name is April. My husband Devin and I have been living for the last nine months in our converted ambulance um, tiny house here. Today I'm going to be doing something that I never thought I would ever attempt, and that is cutting my own hair. There have been lots of YouTube videos lately on how to cut your own hair, especially if it's long and relatively straight. It's a pretty simple process and I'm gonna be trying it. For those of you who are watching, if you have long hair, I'm, I'm sure that you can relate to the fact that sometimes long hair is fun, but it gets to the point where it's just a little bit too long. My hair is extremely low maintenance. I don't color it or have it treated in, in any special way. I simply cut it once or twice per year. But it's been about nearly a year now since I've had my hair cut. So it's definitely time to trim off some extra length. Okay, I'm gonna be using a comb, four hair ties, brush, and I'm going to be using um, scissors, obviously. <laughs> the method that I was watching on YouTube recommended hair cutting scissors. However, we don't have those. So this is the closest thing that I have. These are Joyce Chen um, uh, kitchen shears, which I have sharpened by cutting several layers of aluminum foil. There are a, a couple ways that you can sharpen scissors um, at, at home. One of the methods is by cutting foil. You can also cut steel wool. Apparently that works really well. Or um, sandpaper. The other scissors that I have, which I definitely think would not work, are um, these regular office scissors that I got from Staples. Definitely not a great idea. And these, which would take me all day. So this hair cutting method that, that I found recommends cutting dry hair. Make sure that your hair is clean and freshly washed and um, yeah, let's get started. So the first thing I'm go going to do is figure out where the highest point of my head is. I'm going to use a comb and just kind of put it on my head and try to figure out. I think the top part of my head is like right around here. Then it said to take the comb and trace down behind your ear to get the first section of hair. So I'm just gonna section this off with a hair tie. Okay, then I'm gonna repeat that on the other side. So just to be honest, I am a little bit nervous about doing this. Um, I've never cut my own hair. Devin's hair, I have cut my husband Devin's hair. He's behind the camera right, right now. He has coarse and curly hair, <laughs> or kind of like medium weight curly hair. So, so I figured if I can cut his hair, then I can probably cut straight hair. I think the trick to this method is that you actually cut holding the scissors um, perpendicular to the end of your hair so it doesn't create a blunt line so it's easier to get it straight looking because it's more, more of a feathered style. So, all right. So I have my hair sectioned off into four sections. They are pretty much equal. Okay, so now the next step is to Okay, what you're supposed to do is make sure that your hair is very even and straight. I'm just gonna totally even and straight. And then for each section, you take the hair tie, wrap it around, and then wrap it around tightly. So I'm gonna wrap it three times around this chunk of hair. And then you pull it so you position it so that this front part is just above your shoulder. So just above my shoulder here. And then I'm gonna take this front part and just pull it down straight until it reaches about how much I wanna cut off. That's about how much I wanna cut. I wanna make sure this is really tight. So I'm just gonna, I don't think I can get it around a fourth time. Well, that's okay. I think this is what I want to do. Does that seem straight, Devin? 
Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, okay, great. Okay, then I'm just gonna repeat that process on this side. Um, so if any, any of you have any tips or any funny stories about cutting your own hair, um, it's obviously a little bit late for me to be asking for tips because I'm already doing this, but if you have any you know, comments about your experiences cutting your own hair, feel free to leave them below. That would be fun to kind of read. This is pretty even right by my shoulder, and now I'm just going to tight in there now. I'm just going to bring it down. There. I should probably be, be doing this in front of a mirror, but the mirror that we have in our van is like that big. So I think I'm just going to wing it. Yeah, that probably <laughs> won't be that effective. Right? Yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah, that's okay. If this doesn't quite turn out, it's not going to be the end of the world. I want it to look at least okay. Do these look even to you, Devin? Yeah, I think those look pretty, um, even. pretty even. Yeah, that's pretty even, right? Not too bad. Yeah. How's that look? Yeah, that looks good. Okay. Maybe right, right before I actually start to cut, I will just quick look in, in the mirror and make sure that it is the length I want it to be. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to do it on the back. So the back is a little tricky. Um, it's hard to like comb it and not have it get stuck in the other pieces. Oh man. Shoot. Okay. Right. Just gonna bring it back here right behind my shoulder because that's where it net will naturally sit. pretty good right yeah yeah it's like right falling and fall right behind my shoulder yeah so do that again I'm just gonna show you what I'm doing Suddenly I'm getting a little bit nervous about doing this, <laughs> but that's okay. We're just going to roll it with it. I think it'll be fine. Where's my fourth hair tie? Did I lose it? Oh no, it's in my hair. Oh. <laughs> I'm sure it will turn out really good. Okay. Thanks, honey. I appreciate your support. Yeah, definitely. So you don't think this is a bad idea? No. no. I mean, you've given me really good haircuts, so I have confidence that you can cut your hair very well. Thank you. So the irony here is that Devin is growing his hair out longer because he has this amazing curly hair and he's actually in the, in the pro process of growing it out. And I am cutting mine a little bit shorter, which I think is kind of funny. Okay. There, I think that's good. Okay, so now I'm gonna try to cut my hair. Just gonna start in the front, <clears throat> and, and the trick to doing this is not going like straight like this, but instead, um, so at first you kind of cut it straight, and then you, you do this, you do like a feathered cut to make it a little bit more feathered looking so that if you screw it up, it's not gonna be as obvious.
you have very um, thick, luxurious hair. Thank I, you. I love your hair. Thank you. So that's the first bit. <laughs> now we will do this. <clears throat> I just want to make sure that I'm cutting the same amount of length all around. So I'm just going to kind of eyeball this. Yeah, that's good. Actually, you know what? I can just look at this. That's, wow, look at all those hairs down there. <laughs> That's a lot. Whew. All right. So now I'm going to try to do this back part, which is a little challenging. Let's see. I did about a finger width, so. Good. It's really hard to see this. This is the last section of hair. I'm just gonna toss that, whoa, toss that down there, and now I'm gonna feather it. Let's see how this looks. Just gonna brush it out. Oh, it feels a lot, a lot lighter actually, which is great. Yeah, how, do, how does it look, Devin? Oh, uh, um. Yeah, Fairly. let's uh, well wait till you brush it out and let's uh, let's see. I can't fully see it right now. Uh, wow, well, I think that looks oh, so uh, it looks like it's a little uneven in the back. Oh, okay. Right here, right here. Oh, right there. All right. Yeah, it's two length. Oh, <laughs> how fun is that? Yay! Um, okay. Would you like to even it up for, for me in, in the back? Uh, I can try, yes. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> All right, 
folks, well, that actually turned out really well. It was definitely stressful, I, I won't lie. Um, cutting several inches of hair off was definitely um, anxiety inducing, but it really worked out well. Fortunately, Devin helped me even out the back because it turned out that the, that the two back sections were a little bit wonky, so he, he helped me out. Thank you so much for doing that, Devin. You're the best. And I also found that um, it was it was pretty pretty easy to add some layers in, in the front. I added a couple of face framing layers, plus I did some finishing work on my fringe, which which was getting a bit long as well. So I'll just kind of show you how this turned out. As you can see, the front is still pretty fluffy because I added the layers to get some body and some like movement in there. And then the back is slightly layered as well. It's got a few layers in there too. I think that this actually worked out really well. I'm super happy to have shorter hair. It just feels so great to have less less weight and less length. Honestly, when I first started it, I thought I was going to look like I got into a fight with a hacksaw. But um, fortunately, I think it actually looks halfway good, right? Yeah. Definitely. So if you're out there watching this, thinking about maybe cutting your own hair, it, it is definitely possible. It's a little bit stressful, but, but you can definitely do it. So I highly encourage you to maybe think about trying it out if your hair is getting really long and you can't stand it anymore. So thank you so much for joining us for today's haircutting journey. If you're new to our, our channel, I highly encourage you to subscribe. We upload videos every Tuesday and Friday, and we do van life how-tos, um, travel videos, music, and van life cooking. So it's a super fun channel, and it's relatively new, so, so you can help it grow. And yeah, I definitely thank you for joining us, and see you next time. Bye-bye. The haircut looks really beautiful, honey. I'm glad Thanks. that I could help you out with this. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you're so welcome. Yeah. Thanks again, and see you next time. Bye-bye.